welcome back to my channel. Today we have Allie joining us. We got a really fun one for you guys today. So all you need for this workout is a chair and a set of dumbbells. Whatever dumbbells you have laying around in your house works. And uh, we were inspired yesterday. We did a really awesome boot camp where we used a lot of stuff with a chair. So we're trying to make things accessible for you guys to do workouts at home. So everyone should at least have a chair and some sort of dumbbells. So grab that, pause the video if you need to, and we're gonna jump right into it. So Allie's gonna work out right behind me, and we're gonna start right away with using our chair. We're gonna just take a little stretch, hold on to your chair, walk your feet back, and just really kind of come back to give your back a nice stretch here, almost like a downward dog, but with your hands on the chair. And I'm like shaking my hips a little bit side to side. Maybe do a little bend in each knee, lifting one heel up, so kind of pedaling out your heels a little bit. And then we're gonna take some cat-cow motions here. So drop both heels down, drop your belly down, look up, and then exhale around your spine. Inhale, drop the belly down, look up, and exhale around your spine. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale, good. Now, we're gonna walk it all the way out so that you're in a plank-like position on the chair. Make sure your dumbbells are close by to you. We're gonna start to heat up the body by doing some mountain climbers on the chair. So just drawing one knee in and other knee in. So you can keep it slow like this. If you wanna start to pick up the pace, really get the heart rate up. You can start to move faster. And we'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold that plank. Oops, I'm losing my chair. Hold your plank. We're going to go into shoulder taps. Tapping one shoulder and then tap the other shoulder. So the key here is that you really want to try to keep your hips square down towards the mat. So you're not turning your hips out to the side as you tap the shoulder. Two more on each side. One more on each side. Good. And hold it right here. Locate your weights, grab them. So we're just gonna take one weight in one hand and we're gonna come to do rows. So you have two options with your rows. You can come into that plank position again and row here, or to modify, you can act like this chair is kind of like a bench and row up from here. So I'm gonna take the plank variation and Allie's gonna take the modification. We're gonna do 10 on each side, and then we're gonna repeat that whole circuit starting with that mountain climber again. So here we go, pick whichever variation you're going, take the weight into the right hand, and let's just start to roll the weight up and down. Now, after these 10 rows, we're gonna do 10 tricep kickbacks. Oops, keep, my chair keeps trying to get away from me. We're gonna do five tricep kickbacks and then move to the left side. Four more, three, two. Now hold the weight up, tricep kickbacks, bring it back. And in, trying to keep your elbow close and towards your rib cage the whole time. And drive that weight all the way back behind your hips. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good, now switch it out. So we're gonna take that to the other side. And then repeat from the mountain climbers again. So here we go, get yourself set up. Starting with 10 rows, up and down. Now, if you're holding that plank position and you're struggling a little bit, if you open your feet out a little bit wider, that's gonna make it a little bit easier. Four more rows. Three, two, hold it up, 10 tricep kickbacks. Bring that weight in and back. Six more. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Good. Drop your weight down. Let's just take that little back stretch for a second before we move right into those mountain climbers. Just stretch it back for a second. And then we're going to repeat that whole circuit one more time. So let's get right into it. Coming back into that plank like position. You choose how you want to do your mountain climber, slow if you want, or you can start to pick up the pace. 10 more seconds, and then we're going to go into shoulder taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shoulder tap. Trying to keep those hips nice and square. And keep your hips down. Plank like position on the floor, but on the chair. Two more on each side. And then we grab that dumbbell. Good, and release. So grab your weight. Choose if you want to take modified or that full variation in that plank position on the chair. Wherever you are, we're gonna start with those rows and now up and down, right up and right down. We got another circuit coming up for you after this, where we're gonna do an inverted plank with your feet on the chair. Four more rows, three, two, Hold that weight up, let's go right into a tricep kickback. Bringing it in and back. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, switching it up. Last time, here we go. Heading right into those rows, up and down. Keep that left hip down, make sure it doesn't sneak up if you're in that plank position, or maybe you're choosing to modify this time. Four more. Three, two, here we go, hold it up. Last 10 tricep kickbacks before we move right on. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, release that. Just take that back stretch one more time, and then we're gonna flip it around to take our feet on the chair. All right, let's take it up. All right, so, fun, fun, fun. Stripping, it's getting them away. Only Second circuit in and we're taking our clothes off, huh? <laughs> All right, so here we go. So we're coming into a plank position, but your feet are gonna come onto the chair. I'm just gonna watch the same one. Okay, and then once you're there, we're gonna start to do little Spider-Man crunches, bringing your knee to the outer elbow. And then we're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. So we're gonna do five on each side, hold for 10 seconds, and then we're done. So here we go. Out to one elbow, tap to the other. So this is also gonna be super intense on the shoulders too. So not only working the abs, but getting a little shoulder action in there too. One more on each side. Now just hold that plank. Really press back through the heels. Draw your navel in and up for five, four, three, two, and slowly drop the feet down. Just drop your knees down. Just take a quick child's pose. Let it go. Good, slide your hands all the way back. Rock the shoulders back. Only one of those, one is enough, right? All right, let's stand up. So now we're gonna move into some lower body stuff. So using the chair, we're gonna do 10 
squat to tap the chair, and then slowly come back up. And then we're gonna keep it up and shoulder press. So what I want you to do is grab those two weights, whichever ones you're using, and we're gonna hold it at our chest when we do those 10 squats so that we can easily transition right into 10 shoulder presses. And we're gonna repeat that two times. So a total of 20 squats and 20 shoulder presses. I'm gonna do my squats on weighted. Okay. And just wait for two. All right, so here we go. Weight back in the heels, sinking down, and slowly rising back up. Making it nice and slow and controlled. Sometimes faster is not always better. If you're using a chair that's kind of high, you can just do those squats onto the side too. Just three more before we take it into our shoulder press. Last two. And come on up. Going right into our shoulder presses. Here we go. Up. And down. So just bringing it right to shoulder height where your elbows are in line with your shoulders and then pressing it right back up. Making, your sh making sure your core is nice and engaged. So now arch in the low back here, but you're nice and strong for your last three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out for a second. And then we're going to do that one more time. It was so fun the first time, we gotta do it again. All right, here we go. 10 squats. See, I just realized the reason why you're not holding the weights is because you're using four. That would be kind of yeah. hard to hold four weights <laughs> at the same time. Last five. Four. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Last 10 shoulder presses before we move on. We're moving right along throughout this workout. Here we go. Up and down. Keep those shoulders nice and away from your ears. Little bend in the knees. Four more. Three. Two and one. Good. Shake it out. Did you? <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get into some serious booty action. We did these last night for boot camp, and my booty's definitely feeling it. So it's time for round two. So this is another circuit where we're going to repeat this two times. So we're going to do ten basic step ups. So starting with your left foot down, your right foot on the chair. 10 step ups. And then we're gonna add a little spice to it. We're gonna do 10 lifts of the tush. So this is what's really gonna tone the right side of the glutes. So we're gonna do 10 regular step ups and 10 step ups with a kickback. On the right, on the left, and then we repeat. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's do it. Right foot is on the chair. Here we go. Little lift up and down. So making sure that you're nice and controlled with that step down and you're not slamming onto your foot as you come down. Good. Five more before we take it into those little kickbacks. Last three, two, now on one, keep it up, take your hands onto the chair, kick your foot up, step right down, little lift up and down. So you should feel that squeeze in the right side of the glute as you kick up and feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Keeping a slight bend in that right knee when you come up. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Let's take it 
right into the left side. Right butt cheek's feeling a little fiery. <laughs> left foot comes onto the chair. And here we go, same thing. Just regular step ups to start. 10 times. Keeping your hands wherever they need to be. You can take the hand on the hips. I like to keep my hands at my chest. Whatever feels natural for you. Four more. Then we take it into those kickbacks. Three. Two. Now hold. Hands on the chair. Little kick back. Step it down. Lift. Kick. And down. So this time, focusing on that squeeze in the left side of the glutes and that stretch in the back of the leg, those hamstring muscles. Keeping that little bend in the left knee. Chest comes parallel towards the chair, the floor as you lift up. You've got two more. Coming into our last one. Good. Take it down. Just shake it out for a second. We got one more set of those before we go into some split squats. So we're gonna continue working on the booty. But let's get through that next round and then we'll move on. So here we go. Right foot on the chair, just a quick break. 10 and 10. Let's do it. Little step up and slowly back down. Nice and controlled. Up and down. I should mention too, you don't want to jump off the bottom leg to like boost yourself up there. Oh yeah, definitely not. The whole focus is on your right side. So really the left is kind of just along for the ride. Last four. Three. Two. All right, let's hold it up. Hands come onto the chair, a little lift. And down. Little kick. And down. Oh yeah, it's going to a little bit more than last round. Now we got that extra fire in the booty. Only five left. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Right into the left side, then we move on. Let's just get it done. The left foot comes up, and let's do it. Up and down. So essentially the same type of thing where if you were doing this with the bench at the gym. The chair is nice because a lot of times it can replicate what you would do with bench exercises. Last four, three, two, hold it up, hand on the chair, little kick, and down. This one's also a little bit cardio-ish too. You get a little out of breath after you do this one two times. Good, last five, we're right there. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Shake it out. How does the booty feel? You know where I felt that. I know. She always feels everything in the quads. Let's move on to some split squats. So, we're going to do 10 on our right, 10 on our left, 10 bicep curls, and do it again. Are the quads ready? Yes. All right. Oh, do you want to move the chair so that we have the bar hold on to? I don't know. What do you think? I think it worked out last time. Yeah. So you might want to do this with us at home. We're flipping the chair because this requires a little bit of balance. So just in case we go to fall, we got the bar in front of us. So if you have a wall near you another or chair. anything, or another chair, yeah, good point. You could do that. And you want to make sure you line yourself up so when you dip down in that squat, your knee does not come past your toes. All right? So, here we go. We're going to do 10 on the right side. So, right foot's on the chair. And let's put it up. Here we go. Down and up. Trying to dip down as low as you can. 
So this is another one where you want to feel it in the back of the leg, the booty. Might even feel a stretch in that front quad too. I'm sure you do. <laughs> That's where you're feeling it. Last four. Three. Two. Snap, crackle, pop. And then one. Yeah, we are snap, crackle, popping over here. <laughs> We're just moving through everything that needs to be moved through in our body. <laughs> Left foot on the chair. Same thing. Other side. Let's move. Down up. So I just noticed my knee was coming past my toe. If you guys want, if it, if it makes you not lose your balance, so take a look down for a second and just check your alignment. Sometimes that's not a bad idea. Usually not a bad idea to check your alignment. <laughs> Three more. Two. And one. Good. Shake it out. We're going to grab our dumbbells. We're going to do ten curls and repeat. Let's do it. Are we doing it uh, simultaneously? Same hand, same thing. Okay. Yeah. We'll just keep it nice and basic. So, I'll face okay. this way. Come by you. All right, here we go, 10 bicep curls. Just basic curls, palms face up towards you. I'm doing hammer curls if you're doing the weights with the Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're doubling up on your weights like galleys and maybe hammer curls would be easier for you. But if you just have one like me, regular bicep curls work. <laughs> We're gonna do three more. Two, and one, good. Drop it down, all right. That's one round down. Now we just have to do that one more time. So, let's do it. Right foot on the chair. Going right into those split squats. For some reason, Allie loves them. <laughs> I don't know why, it's one of my least favorites. Here we go, 10. It's a lovely yeah, relationship. Anything where we're training our hamstrings, that's like my weak area. It's really tough for me. Which usually, if you hate the exercise, it means that that's the one that you really need. So maybe that's the case. Once we get down to the floor, there's another hamstring one we're doing that I'm dreading. <laughs> Three, two, and one. You almost closed it there, Ellen. Almost. <laughs> Left foot on. I was confused because I was ahead of you. I was like, three, what? I know. Three, what? I'm the worst at counting. If, you're ever, if you've ever taken in uh, a live class with me, you'll know I'm the worst. <laughs> Here we go. Down and up. I say 10 more. Just expect at least 18 more. <laughs> like, it's not even close. That was six for me. <laughs> All right, so four more. We'll go, we'll go by Ali's counting. Two and, last one. and one. All right. Ooh. Shake it out. Wow. Spicy. Hey. Bicep curls, and then we're going to move on to tricep dips. Yay. And then we take it down to the ground for some abs. <laughs> All right. Ten curls. Let's do it. Up and down. Then we flip the grip and do triceps. We're working the front of the arms, then we work the back. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So you were behind me again. <laughs> I'm just going slower because I have like tens. Yeah. All right, so. Next up, we're going to do tricep dips. So, we're going to do two sets of 10. So, we're going to do 10 dips, take a little break, 10 dips, and then we're going to take it down to the ground and do some abs. So, we'll finish up with some abs. Quick little effective workout. So, Allie's going to show you the full variation. I'm going to show you a modified variation on the chair. So, I'm going to keep myself in a reverse tabletop. To do my dips, Allie's going to come into the full variation where she's in a reverse plank. 
If both of those are too advanced for you, you can always take dips on the floor here too as well. All right? So, let's get her done with our first time. Here we go. Dipping down as low as you can and up. I got five more, how about you? Yep. So, yes, we're on the same page. Last two. And one, good. Woo, take it off for a second. I think I might have to switch into the uh, variation for the next one. Yeah, the reverse plank, that's like a beastly variation. This 10 has got me. <laughs> well, we got 10 more. Okay, ready? Yep. Ready, ready, let's go. Yeah, the second set, man. Repeating is really what does you in. I got five more. How about you? Seven. Oh, now you're ahead of me. Eight. See? I'll go by yours. Nine. Last one. Good. All right. Ooh. I think it counts up to ten. But that's about it. That's where it ends. You <laughs> know more than ten. All right. Let's flip it all the way down onto the ground. If I need more than 10 fingers, it's impossible. Right. It's one, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take it down onto the ground. Make sure you're facing your chair. To begin, we're going to come onto our forearms. So we're going to do 10 in and out crunches above the chair, underneath the chair. And then we're going to go right into 10 all around the world. So you're making like a rainbow all around the chair. Okay, so that's going to start to into the obliques. Good luck to you people who have like arm rests yeah. in the chairs and you have to go even higher. Yeah, level. true. Now this is the, the squats. It's nice we have a high chair, but now this is when it's really going to come to bite you in the butt. We're to go over the top bit. So we're going to do that two times. All right, we'll take a little break in between each time. All right, so here we go. Under, over, under, over. So each under, over is one. It's not under, over is two. That would be cheating. This is five. You're going fast, girl. She's really trying to get it done. Oh wait, I'm a sprinter. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're on our last one. Now, on your last one, hold it up. Make that rainbow. Oh, mama. Oh, yeah. The hip flexors, though. Now, if you need to, guys, you can also bend the knees to lessen the intensity. So you can bend the knees and make that rainbow. That's going to make it a little bit easier. I was like, how I don't know. <laughs> we got four more, guys. <laughs> Three. Two. <laughs> We're on our last one. Around. And whew, just take it down to the ground for a second. Wrap it out. We're going to do that one more time. And then we have another ab exercise for you guys. We're almost there, though. We're in the home stretch. Okay. Here we go. Are we starting over or under? I start under. Okay, let's start under. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm ready to get her done. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Three, two, one.
everybody take your heels on your chair now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take little oblique crunches on one side. So you're going to stretch your left arm to the right side, trying to keep your shoulders up off the floor. Ten little pulses to the right. Ten little pulses to the left. Then you're going to hold it in the center and pump the arms down for about 20 seconds. We'll take a break and do it one more time. All right, so let's go team. Right hand underneath the head, lift it all the way up. 10 little pulses. Keep twisting your body over to the right side. And pulse five, four, three, two, and one. Right into the other side. Hi. <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it right to center. Hands come out. Lift the shoulders up a little bit more. Start to pump. The goal is to try to raise up as much as you can, keeping a little space in between the chin and the chest. You got 10 seconds to go. Start to talk and pump. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and release. Ah, nice. Only one more time. Yeah, you know, we only have one more exercise left in the workout. That was like quick. Mm. All right. Let's do round two. Oblique crunches, right side, lift it up and pulse. Keep looking at the floor, noticing how badly you have to sweep. <laughs> yeah, it's bothering me now. Three, two, and switch to the other side. Pulse it out. Size my weaker side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Center and pulse. Raise it up, try to raise it up a little bit higher than you did last time. Keep pumping halfway through. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and release. Ah. All right, only one more exercise to go. And it's going to be with your heels still onto the chair. Just some bridges. We're gonna lift all the way up. Squeeze the glutes and come back down. So we're gonna do 10, take a little break, another 10, and then we're done. And then we'll stretch out. All right, are we ready for the grand finale? Let's do it. Up and down. So you don't wanna forget that squeeze at the top. So now you're really feeling it in the entire back body, your calves, your hammies, your glutes should be on fire. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down for a second. Did you feel that in your quads? Nope, it was all in my hammies. Okay, oh, yeah. For me, it was in my calves. Oh my goodness. Nice. All right, let's get it through with the last 10 so we can finish her off. Let's go. Up and down. I'm gonna say, do you feel that in your quads? And I don't know, girl. <laughs> oh, my calves are screaming right now. And my hammies. Oh, my hammies. And my glutes. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Whew. I had you on that last one. Wow. It was the grand finale for a reason. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Just rock your body from side to side. Oh, feels good. That final moment when you're finally done. Mm. Let's open up into a little happy baby. 